Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Scientix webinar Math Mystery Box Learning Mathematics by Playing. My name is Noel Billon, and I will moderate this session. With us today, we have David Ballesteros and Nerea Casas. David Ballesteros is currently working in education as science speaker and designer of extracurricular activities. He also works as science consultant for different associations and foundations. In the past, David worked as science and math teacher in a secondary school. Nerea Casas is a teacher of physics, chemistry, and mathematics at La Oxeta y Castola. She's, fi she's finishing her doctorate in the didactics of science and mathematics and collaborates with different entities in the elaboration of manipulative mathematical didactic materials. During their presentation, they will present the Math Mystery Box project, which proposes a gamification-based tool integrated through a problem-solving methodology and incorporates motivational activities in order to learn mathematics by playing. My colleague Enrique, Scientix account, will be helping you with any technical problems you may have so please write to him privately if you experience any difficulties in attending this session. Please remember to turn down your cameras and microphones and to not take the presenter role, which is the little circle you will see next to David and Neria's name in the list of participants. At the end of the session, we will have 15 minutes. <laughs> So at the end of the session, we have 15 minutes in which you will be able to address questions to our experts through the chat, but you can still post them during the whole webinar. That's all. I will leave the floor to David. Enjoy. the presenter with Nerea Casas. And we would like to start with a musical video that maybe we can relate with math. Well, the reason of this video is that we must change the, the perception of the society about math. And we would like to uh, start with our, our presentation with uh, Kluta to show some words. I think it's important in, in the math. We usually use teach, of course, and learn, and math. But we have a lot more of words that we can use with math, like compete. The students like to compete and play. And we want to do plays with the students. We are uh, thinking about a tool to gamificate the mathematic class and cooperation. The students must cooperate because our purpose is playing in groups. And funny, 
very, very important. We must enjoy your class. So it's not perceive the mathematics like a boring class. Sorry. No. And uh, we think that we must do a reflection because the students are afraid about mathematics usually. Teachers tend to be very traditional. Me the first when I was teaching math. Why well, I don't know, but uh, if we think about that, we are teaching like uh, a teach in the 19th century, usually. Why? Because we are in the blackboard writing and writing, and the students, uh, the uh, students are repeating the activities again and again. We need uh, new materials in mathematics. We have a lot of new materials in science and STEM education, but maybe math is the area of the knowledge men where we have this uh, methodologies, new methodologies to use. And the students must increase their self-confidence. If you are not confident, you cannot enjoy your class. You must be positive and think, okay, now I have math. It's a good thing. Not, oh, math now, no, please. We need more confidence students. And we think that uh, the educational community must change its approach towards mathematics. We must do some different. Uh, if we, again here in this slide, we're showing the cone of listening from day 1969. Probably you know about that, but it's very interesting to look again this cone, because at the top we have the less effective teaching tools. And what we can see in the top, or usual methodology in the math class, maybe we were in a wrong way. And in the bottom, or in the base of the cone, we have the most uh, effective tools for education. And like you can imagine, it's a direct experience to do the things. And we want to play with the math, that the students can touch the math. Nerea, please. Good evening, hello everyone. Um, so I, I'm going to talk about gamification because um, gamification is a word that now every everyone uses and it's about to use the games or to play, but not uh, with the only purpose of playing or, uh, uh, but uh, with the purpose of studying or um, doing uh, another things. So, uh, sometimes when we uh, talk about gamification, we only think about virtual gamification. Um, we have a lot of tools, um, we have iPad, we have tablets, we have mobile, and the gamification, the virtual one, um, we, we only, we, we all can ha have it uh, in our devices. But not the money, not the money. I think that we, ca we have to touch mathematics and this is the way to manipulate them. So I think that uh, we have to encourage the students to like math and that's the way. Um, why we don't do it normally or usually in our classes? Um, I think that some teachers are fear of um, play or uh, use um, this type of gamification in class because sometimes we think that it can be, uh, uh, it's about question time. So um, I think that we can do it. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't know what happens. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so what was the inspiration about our <laughs> manipulative tool? Uh, there was, what is escape game? Um, sure, you know what it is, but I'm going to explain. Uh, it's like a room and you get into it. So you have to escape from it. You have 60 minutes to go out and you have to look for clues, uh, you have to open some uh, doors or some padlocks or you, you have to use a lot of tools and uh, I love uh, the escape games. I have done like uh, five or six and I on, always want to uh, do a new one. So that, that was the inspiration. So um, David, please uh, pass the slide. Yes, okay. thank you. Um, uh, this is where this is our tool. Here we have uh, one of the boxes that we made, 
uh, in this box, we can we can uh, see some drawers, and some of them are locked with padlocks. Um, so, what is the, the what is our purpose? Where our purpose is to um, give this box to the students and uh, to say, okay, uh, here you have this box. Um, the aim of the parade is to open the whole box and you have 60 minutes or 40 minutes, uh, whatever, to, to open the box and to open it, they have to pass some clues, they have to open uh, those uh, padlocks. Um, to open the padlocks, maybe they have to um, resolve an equation or maybe they have to use some geometry um, uh, uh, activities to, to open it. So this is um, our first box, but we have more than this. <laughs> so um, we are talking about padlocks now. Um, the padlocks that we can use a uh, different one. Uh, we have uh, the key padlocks. Um, to open it, we have to, um, to, to, we need a key. So sometimes inside the box, there are some keys and we have to, we have to use them to open the padlock. And there are uh, combination padlock too. The, here we can uh, we can see when combination when combination padlock with numbers, but there are some with with letters too or with some um, um, pictures. So we can we can use it um, in mathematics <laughs> and directional padlocks. Uh, those those ones uh, are are special ones. And to open it, we have to um, we we have to put inside uh, with them. If, if you see the the round thing, we have to uh, pull it uh, up or down or left or right to to put inside one combination with 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 those. And of course, we need some funny activities inside the box. And maybe the student in, uh, in our drawer can find a uh, ultraviolet torch. Why? We don't know. They must uh, search possibilities. And maybe they can see a hidden missile. Or they must determine the golden number by playing. You will see in a few minutes, like uh, the way, because we are going to do some activity. We will to play in a few minutes. Oh, we really. Uh, use a sea tail that it's a ribbon that you must wrap around a cylinder. I mean, the cylinder is in the right uh, dimension, diameter. Then you can read a message in the letters and numbers I write inside, on the ribbon. The only idea is not only open the box and find a paper, a pencil, and do an equation or a math activity. It's played with the math. Uh, using different items that we can integrate inside the activities. This is an example, but the best way to understand our project, what do you think, Maria? Maybe it's to play with us. Yes, I, th I think that we have to play. So um, we are using uh, Kahoot. Maybe you know what Kahoot is, and if you don't, uh, that it is going to put um, the Kahoot website here in the in the screen. So one minute. Uh, no. You you need to take your uh, smartphone or some um, tablet or uh, the PC too, and please. Get Kahoot. So we are going to wait a few minutes for people to get in. When you get into Kahoot, you have to put this code. So there are zero players. Yeah, perfect. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to repeat the web. It's uh, kahoot.it. If you put Kahoot in Google, you have the, the, the link too. And what you have to do is to enter your this game pin that you have on the screen. I mean, we have two players. <laughs> It's perfect. We have five, six, that's it. You get it. <laughs> okay, we're going to wait a little bit more. So what what we want to do with this um, is to experiment of what we put, um, what we do with the box, but uh, in a virtual game, in a virtual way. We need the other screen. Wow, forty nine players. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, so maybe we can start. Okay, so um, <laughs> we cannot we can listen start? to you, Nera. Are you here? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, I can hear you. you? Yeah. Yes, okay, perfect. Okay, David? Can you start? We have a technical problem. Uh, we're going to be back in one minute. It, it seems like uh, David left the session, but uh, we're trying to fix the problem. Should be fine. <laughs> Can we start with the play?
Okay. Uh, we have 26 answers. Next, uh, next question. Now you need a paper and a pencil, maybe. have 30 answers and um, we can wait a few uh, seconds more to get more answers. 35. Uh, so people can see the questions. I don't know if we are having some problem about that because I have 39 questions uh, answers, sorry. I will go at again. Maybe we are having some problem. Wait one minute. Now, can you see the the, answer, the question? Nerea, you yeah, can see yeah, the question now. Now I can, now I can see it. No, I can see. I, I oh, okay. I don't know. Yes. I am sorry. I don't know what's happening. I'm back. I'm sorry. It seems that we were having some. Pro yeah. Everything is supposed to be back. David, everything is fine. Sorry, because with the music I can listen. Everything is supposed to be fine now. Sorry, we lost the connection. Oh, okay. 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 We have a winner. That is a little one. Yeah. Yeah. Next one. And the last questions. It's a very beautiful activity. A lot of math teachers, I think, so fast answers, it's incredible. Have 50 seconds to finish. A winner. Yeah, happy. <laughs> Congratulations. So, uh, those kind uh, of activities or questions are inside the box. So, uh, here we have some slides to explain what we have um, do now. Uh, the first one, uh, it has been like, how many sites are in total in this case? We have here. Um, stop so we can count eight sites then we have the other one 
that's a, that is in triangle, so we have three. And the final one is a square, so we have four. So the answer was eight, three, four. And this, this we use to open the padlock. If if uh, if in a padlock we we put like um, eight, three, and and four, we can we can open one. Okay. So uh, the next one was uh, this one. So the first um, the first piece of the puzzle was were some Roman numerals. So we we do it. Uh, we can get the five. Then, if you do the equation that is in the middle, you can get the three. And in the end, uh, we can see a matrix with numbers and another matrix with some pictures. So if we put the matrix with the matrix with numbers on the matrix with with uh, pictures, we can see that the flower is a two. So the final number was the five three two. And in the uh, in the final slide or in the final clue, in the third one, uh, there was the bead. So um, if we if we do um, his uh, size, uh, and uh, if we do this equation with the different measures that measures that appear in the picture, uh, we can get the the. Um, um, the golden number. So if we put the golden number that is one six uh, one in a padlock, we can open it. Okay. So um, w w how can we use it um, at school? Because uh, it's um, it's difficult sometimes to to. Um, mm, to think activities or think different activities and to relate them with the curriculum. So um, we have done this work too. And with this box or with this uh, kind of games, we can um, learn some skills like communication skills because they have to communicate with peers and use uh, argumentation. And we can evaluate it by a guided little reflection in a post game session. Then we have worked the thinking and learning skills. Why? Because they have to uh, troubleshoot in the intuition developing. They have to to guess what they have to do. So they have to think. And when, when we can evaluate it, like writing down the strategies used to solve different challenges. We can work the skill for coexistence too. And uh, in that, uh, they have to work in teams and uh, we can evaluate it, noting group work and making a co-evaluation. The last ones are the learning to be and the mathematical skills. The learning to be, um, but they used to use the box um, well. They have not to broke it or to, you know, <laughs> what happens sometimes in a class. And we can evaluate it. Uh, like um, if they take care of the material or if they lost any parts. And the last one is the mathematical skill that I think, think that it is, um, the in this case, one of the important ones because um, with the box or with this type of activities, we can, la we can or they can learn concepts such as functions, powers, equations, and system loss equations. They can um, learn geometry and cryptography. And how can evaluate how we can evaluate it? Like observing what steps have been able to solve without help, which um, of them have needed a tracker, and finally which have not been able to solve. So uh, when I use it, it the first time in my class, that's what it happens. We can see in the in the video. Okay, this is the introduction. This is in Spanish, but it's mathematics, learning, curiosity, gamification. And finally, learn math, in math mystery box. So now you are going to see my students playing with the box. There are some students um, thinking, 
uh, doing teamwork, measuring like David in the picture, opening some safes, measuring again. But this is a math a, a math class, so I think that is I, I like it. <laughs> We test, uh, we do test the activity in a, a science fair where we organize a, a workshop for students, uh, three days, six hours every day with uh, working with our project. And uh, more than 400 students play with the boxes. We have two levels for students with age between 12 and 14, and uh, another boxes for students from high school 16, 18. And we get, uh, get our results that we have. Very, we are very happy with the results of the activities. All the groups enjoy a lot of the activities, and the feedback with the teacher was very positive. And we think that, that it's like a, a push. <laughs> I don't know who to translate, but we feel that the people enjoy really our project. It's not the same to only to explain to teachers in a course or in a training activity that do it with the students and see the reaction about uh, our purpose. I think that you can listen to Nerea because she's moving. Now? No? No. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, here uh, you, can, you can see what we name Math Mystery Block that is like something like, like this one, uh, that you have a picture, but you can here you can see the, the real one. So um, here we have like a, a little notebook. So uh, you can you can this one uh, into uh, to, to play with uh, the students in your class. So it's a little um, uh, notebook, um, two padlocks and lace. So um, the first clue to open this was uh, the clue that we that we see before the ones with the um, traffic signs so if they put here the right code they can open this one so um they only have to open another one and to solve what is inside uh, the other one um they have to open with this lace so here we are going to um, see what the cital is um, let, um, before they would uh, comment something about this, but um, the ancient Greeks or the um, Spartans, they used um, this kind of cryptography to send messages using spears, and they have to roll one lace in um, around the spear, and and um, this is the way that we can uh, solve the seedle. So. If I I don't know if we, you can see it well, but if we put this lace here and we do like this here, it's a peer number. In this case, it's five three zero. So if they put this number into this padlock open this and then here we can put wherever we want here the um, i have some some letters but we can um, we can use it for whatever we want we we can imagine that we have to explain the equations so we have put another kind of of uh, clues we can put one equation to open the first padlock and um, maybe a graphic to open the second one so we can use this this tool uh, whenever we want. And uh, you have uh, used for a lot of possibilities. We use the math mystery box and the math mystery block. But uh, ideas change the teacher's table. Why not? You can attach a chain to the wrap your table with a chain and attach with a padlock, and say to the students, okay, we need to. <laughs> to get the freedom from my table. Let's resolve active, uh, equations to open the, the locks, the padlocks. It's the same activity that you make every day in the classroom. But sometimes we need some compete 
adventure play gamification we are not we know that our ideas are you know, very easy to understand and to do and it's very important for the teachers we think start to do activities that are not the usual in math it's more attractive to do this kind of activities that a traditional class of course we need the traditional class or so a blackboard and explain it but why not some days in the class to play and smile and feel the emotion of resolve an equation to get open a padlock you must try i think or okay. the next project Nadia. it's all green <laughs> Yes, this is this is my dream. Because um, before I said that uh, I love going to escape games, to escape rooms. So this is my dream. Because we are going to um, do a escape room, but a math a mathematics escape room. And the objective or the aim is to put inside 25 students or 25 um, yeah students or with their families playing with mathematics in a room and they will have to take 50, uh, 50 minutes to escape and they only have to use the intuit the intuition and the mathematical concepts that we that we that they know um, but it's going to be very easy but in the same time they are going to be learning mathematics and working with mathematics so uh, here we have put some questions it's like uh, they are going to be learning are they going to be playing both? I think that both. And to finish our next step, what do we want to do in the next future? Uh, we want to do a research about for do a math mystery box for primary school because we think that we can do the same activities with a different level for the little students. Think about new challenge that it is with Narea because all we thinking and thinking new ideas. It's very powerful to work with Narea. He uh, research about new gamification rates. We are sure that we need gamification. The gamification is a very nice way for education in the next uh, in the next future because we need to play to learn. And I think that we finish Narea. Yeah, we, we we can say it. we have finished the presentation, so uh, we can we can answer some questions if you if you want. And thank you because uh, you are here listening to us. So thank you very much for coming. <laughs> so thank you both for this great presentation. I think that most of the participants are already through from what I've seen in the in the in the chat messages, I, I know that we've been collecting a couple of responses um, regarding what has been um, going on and the resources that might be shared. Uh, before we go with the questions, I, I would also like to remind participants that most of the uh, materials are going to be shared uh, in the follow-up email. Um, and otherwise, now my colleague Noel will start checking one of the questions, some of the questions we collected uh, during the during the webinar. Okay. Okay. Hi everyone. So I have a question from Teresita. So is the video uh, at the beginning of the presentation available online? So you can yeah. send maybe the link. Yeah, of course. Via the chat, that would be great. And I have also received a lot of comments from teachers at Kahoot, uh, which is a very nice tool. And uh, the students uh, really appreciate it. And um, I also have uh, one comment. Um, um, from the Math Mystery Escape Room uh, by Carolina. Well, like curiosity is a strong drive. This method is a very good idea to motivate uh, kids to do math. So thank you again to the presenters. And and uh, if uh, you have any other question, please feel free to uh, to post it in a chat uh, for David and uh, 
So how do you make assessment? So David and uh, you know, maybe you have a comment about that? David? Sorry, I can't listen. So I have one question in the chat from uh, Elif Connectas. How do you make assessment? Uh, I work with different foundations and museums. I'm working with them in schools. In, I am a project of my country, my region, that uh, uh, us at the moment, developing a for teachers to help them to develop in uh, class, in the class time, for the class, sorry. Has anyone another question for David? Uh, I have another question there uh, from Daniel. Uh, is there a precise order to solve the problems, or can students choose the order? Um, I don't know. I can speak now. Yes, you can. Okay. Um, with the box, there is order, but there is moment that there are some different clues. So the different students can be uh, solving different uh, different clues at the same time. But um, with this one, with the with the block, they can um, if they have the two clues at the same time, they can they can think uh, what which one they want to solve first. Thank you, Mira. about the time that we need to prepare the box. Yes. So um, I'm going to answer. Uh, it takes a long time to prepare one box. Yes. And now we have all the materials. So we are going to um, uh, share them uh, maybe in July. Um, we want to put them in our website and to share with you. Um, but if you want to do some new uh, clues or some new activities, um, I think that you need time to prepare them. And the, the, for me, the most difficult thing has been to, uh, it, it was to relate one question with the other. Uh, it was to make them like the puzzle of the clues. So, um, because you, you have to think the first one and then with this, what were, what are you going to open and then to prepare the second one? Uh, so I think that it is difficult. Thank you, Vera. So we have another question from uh, one participant. Um, is Mass Mystery Box on Twitter? Because he couldn't find it. Yes. It's a mistake. Uh, it's, it, it's, yeah, it's the, um, it's Mass and then uh, Mystery only. Here it is, it, it's not. It's wrong what we put I, in the slide. Sorry. I put, excuse me. I put now right in the in the chat inside the chat. It's okay. math and then mystery only. Do so you have your website at the moment? Yeah, yeah we ha we have it, but we are working in progress because I think that we have to um, develop it better. But the website is. Um, www.mathmysterybox.com uh, Okay, so if you want to type it in the chat, please don't hesitate to. So everyone okay. will have it in writing. Is there any other question from participants? Feel free to add it in the chat. So we have one question from Anja. Who made the boxes? Did you buy them? Did the student make them at some other project? Some other subject? Or? Sorry, I was putting the, the <laughs> website in the chat. Um, we uh, the the physical box, the wooden box, we buy it. But um, all the things that are inside, um, maybe well, if there is a torch, 
we buy too, uh, but the materials, the mathematical materials, we made them. Thank you, Nerea. And thank you for the link also. Um, <laughs> does anyone have another question for Nerea and David before we close the session? So, no, no other question. Maybe we'll wait a little bit. And you too. <laughs> so it seems like we have no more questions. So thank you to uh, both the speakers. And uh, thank you to all the participants for attending this webinar. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye, and a pleasure. Yeah, it was a pleasure.